Hi, I'm Jason Solomon, and this is Practice at Home, Level 1. Let's start with players that just got their instruments. Maybe they don't know their way around the horn yet, not really sure what the notes are. So we're just going to work on some basic tone production things. And if you practice with me in this video every day, it'll probably take you about a week to get comfortable with what we're doing, and then you can go on to Level 2. So for Level 1, we want to focus on what we'll call for now a higher shelf and a lower shelf. The higher shelf is going to sound something like this. And then the lower shelf is going to sound something like this. We want to be able to find those two shelves and differentiate between those pretty easily. So to start, I'm going to play for four beats, and then I'd like you to play for four beats, kind of calling and responding. I'm going to put on a little metronome. And I'm going to start in the middle of the slide. It happens to be just beyond the bell, and it's something that we call fourth position. We'll get to that more later. Now your turn. Ready, play. Good. I'll do it again. Now your turn. We'll do that two more times. Good. So we've gone back and forth. That note happens to be called a D, and we'll get to how that looks on the staff later. But for now, we want to start on D, and we're going to do what's known as a gliss, and that's where we take the slide and we change the length of the instrument, and we change the sound. So now we're going to play this pattern back and forth in the same way. start on that D and we're going to go down what is known as a half step, just one more slide position out, so fourth to fifth position. Don't worry about the slide positions, just use your ear to match my sound. That's it, nice big breaths. Good. Let's put those two exercises together now. So I'm going to go up and then down. Follow me. We'll go back and forth. Good. Now, instead of doing what is known as a half step, which is one slide position away, we're going to do a whole step. So we're going to go from D in the middle of the slide, and we're going to go up two slide positions. Now we're going to be in second position. This note is called E. Don't worry so much about the notes right now. Big, beautiful sounds, big, beautiful breaths, and just listen and try to match my sound and my pitch. Listen for how far you're moving the slide and try to match the sound. Two, ready, play. Two, ready, play. 
Two more times. Some of you with shorter arms may actually have to put your shoulder into the equation and use your shoulder to get the slide out. Some of you may go out onto the fingertips. Remember, we always want to hold the trombone slide with just the fingertips. I like to hold it with these two fingers and the thumb. It's like a very delicate thing, so I can be very precise with it. And I may have to go onto just the fingers to get to six. Whatever you have to do, let your ear tell you where the slide needs to go. Two, big breath. Four times. Good, two more. one's going to be a little bit more advanced, but I have faith that you can do your best. If you can't reach all the way out on the slide, just do your best and get it as far as you can. And remember, you can lean into it with the shoulder and you can extend it onto the fingertips. We're going to go from fourth position, that D, where we started, all the way into first. Careful not to jam the slide in all the way. You may hurt your teeth a little bit. So just nice and light and easy. And then we're going to go all the way down to seventh position. Now there's some something on the slide You'll notice that right over here, there are these little grooves in the slide. Those are called the stockings. Seventh position is beyond the stockings. So you've got to make sure that you can see the stockings out of the corner of your eye when you're playing. But most importantly, use your ear and try to match the pitch with me. All right, first we'll go up to first. Here we go, ready? One, two, big breath. We'll do that four times. Here we go, big breath. One, two, big breath. Two more times. Here we go, ready? One, two, big breath. Good, last time. Good. We'll 
put that together now. Now again, as we're moving a little bit faster with the slide, careful not to jam the slide in all the way, and careful not to lose the slide off of the end of the instrument. Uh, we have to kind of dance a delicate dance of not going too far in either direction, but getting as far as we need to, all right? Let your ear be the judge. Good. 
shelves, the low shelf and what we'll call the high shelf. In next lesson, in lesson number two, we're going to add a shelf even higher than that. And so we'll have low, medium, and high, which are low B flat, middle F, and tuning B flat. So do this first video for about a week, and then when you're ready, we'll go to lesson number two. <laughs> 